Hi everyone, welcome to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith. This is gonna be a news and updates video where I'm going to be unboxing a box. I'm gonna be sharing some updates with you. And I'm also gonna be testing out this new camera that I'm using right here. It's a Lumix GH5 for anyone who's interested. And I thought it might be best to test it out on a news and updates video rather than on one of our big tutorial videos because if I made a mistake there, it would involve a lot more work correcting it. Speaking of videos, it's been kind of a funny month around here because at the end of June, I was traveling for the last two weeks, both to Origins and then to BGG at C. And then since I've been home, I've been working on video content, but because Gen Con's around the corner, some of the videos I'm working on, I can't actually release until closer to Gen Con because of embargoes on the information. So I'm sorry if you're looking at the channel and not seeing a lot of content like you normally would. Uh, that content is being made. It will get released probably all in a big storm of content all at once, <laughs> but just know it's on the way and hopefully you'll enjoy some of it. Speaking of Gen Con, I'm gonna be there and I hope I'll see some of you there as well. I'm gonna be spending most of my time during the dealer hall hours at the Board Game Geek booth. So swing by and say hello. Some of the time I'll be doing some preview videos, but most of the time I'll just be in the booth and I'd love to say hello, gush about some games we're seeing at Gen Con, answer questions and the like. After hours, I'm gonna spend a fair bit of my time at the Board Game Geek Hot Games Room. This is over at the Hyatt, and you do need tickets to get in there, it's generally after hours, but they have all kinds of tables to play games on and a library of all the hot games at Gen Con. So if you're having some difficulty getting a chance to demo some of those really popular games in the dealer hall, this is a place you can come and check them out as well. I'm also gonna be a guest at the Rolling Dice and Taking Names podcast meetup on Saturday, August the 3rd at the Old Spaghetti House at 5.45 p.m. Now this will be a $10 ticketed event and limited to 80 people, but you'll get a meal when you come, they'll also be games and giveaways, prizes, other special guests, and everyone who comes can participate in the official strike tournament. And I call it official because I decided to, not because it's sanctioned in any way by Ravensburger or the publisher or anything like that. But it will officially determine what it is that the podcast hosts of Rolling Dice and Take Names have to refer to strike as for the coming year. Is it just dice in a bowl or is it, as it should be, gladiators in an arena? We're also gonna have an opportunity to check out the new version of Strike that's coming. is gonna provide us with a couple of copies to bring and demo there as well, which will have new rules and maybe even a new thematic setting. We'll see when we arrive. I'd love to see you there. Check out the link below in the description to the Pod Pledge page that will allow you to pick up your ticket. Speaking of Pod Pledge, we have our own Pod Pledge where you can go and pick up promos that we offered during previous fundraisers and those funds go to help support the show and purchases like this new camera that I'm using here which is gonna help us do our live shows in a much better format and also finally allow me to fulfill the promise that I made two centuries ago to do a live streaming gaming marathon, which will happen. Speaking of promos, there's a promotion on right now by Geek & Son, the makers of the gorgeous gaming table that we use here in all of our videos, and they're offering a 20% off summer sale. So if you'd like to check that out, I'll also put a link to their website in the description below. Speaking of the table, let's head over there right now because I've got this big box I received in the mail that I wanna open and share with you. So this is the box I received from Rob Oren of Rob's Tabletop World, a YouTube channel that I first discovered because of his painting tutorials there. Now, Rob is kind of a difficult guy to miss. He's been a powerlifting champion nationally seven years. So he's a big dude <laughs> and he's got a big heart as well. On his channel, he does a lot of giveaways he raises a lot of money for charity, and he does more than just painting tutorials. He does full playthroughs, reviews, overviews, and he also has a regular vlog where he speaks very candidly and openly with his subscribers about a variety of topics. And he's always been very generous and, and kind in his words uh, about our channel there and, and other content creators that he enjoys. So thank you, Rob, for that. And listen, thank you for going way above what's necessary here, sending us this gift. Uh, it was very unexpected, although I did talk to him about it once I knew it was on the way and, and asked him what it was. It's actually a, a game that's a gift for me and Luke to play that he thought we would really enjoy. And uh, Rob didn't expect me to feature the game in this way and talk about him here on the channel, but I really wanted to as a way of publicly saying thanks to him for this really kind gift and to be able to show it to you as well and see what's inside. So the game that's in here is <laughs> Giant Killer robots. <laughs> you almost have to be a power lifter just to lift this thing. <laughs> okay, so this is by Cryptozoic and Weta Work Workshop. If you've heard of Weta Workshop before, it's probably because of their work on Lord of the Rings. Well, they designed and created a game that's been published here called Giant Killer Robots. And although I knew what the game was, Rob's added some special touches here. And I haven't seen those yet. I have not opened up this box yet to see exactly what's inside. So I thought we could do that here together. 
Initially, I was thinking I would just kind of walk us through an unboxing of the game, but when I saw what was inside, I just decided, no, I'm gonna dump it all on the table. And this isn't even everything. This is just the mechs and the buildings and the board. There's also cards and decks and dice and all kinds of other stuff as well. But let's take a quick look here at just these components alone. Now, I still have a lot to learn about this game, but essentially, you're gonna be a pilot piloting one of these giant mechs, and these do come pre-painted in the box. Rob has actually added some of his own painting talent to these as well, though, adding some additional details to customize and personalize them even further for us. I mean, these models are already outrageous to begin with, but having these additional details added to them is just gonna make the experience of playing it even more special. The other smaller mechs in the set, like the ones you see here, didn't really have a custom paint scheme on them. They had a wash, so Rob's gone and painted all 12 of these different models for us. When I look at what Rob's done here, I think not just about the skill and the talent, obviously, that goes into painting these miniatures, but also the time, the time that he gave up to do this, and I, I really, really appreciate that. Oh yeah, I should also point out that all of these buildings that come in the game, the bases and the roofs of them were also touched up with paint by Rob as well. Rob, this is really, uh, what's the word for it? It's pretty outrageous, man. This is really something else. And, uh, and thank you. Thank you for this really generous gift. You've not just given me and Luke a, a game to play and to share with other people who come to our house, but also a, a unique production of it, unlike anyone else has. And that's really special. And I'll think of you every time that we play this. Thanks, Rob. Um, you know, in light of Rob's generous gesture here, I think one good turn deserves another. We should have our own giveaway. And we need to do something that's worthy of a power lifter. So I'm going to give away this really big, <laughs> heavy box of Necromunda Underhive from Games Workshop. This is a shrink wrap copy. It's gonna cost me a million dollars to ship. We will make this worldwide. And if you donated during our seventh season fundraiser, you're automatically entered into this draw. But if you haven't, don't worry. You never have to donate to us to be entered into our contest. There'll be a link in the description below that you'll have to go to and fill in some information so you can be drawn during the contest. And there's also a code word that you have to enter. And the code word it's gonna be found over at Rob Oren's YouTube channel. So if you go to his YouTube channel, you'll find in his main YouTube banner header, there are five words in white. The middle word, the middle word is the code word for this contest if you'd like to enter it. And you have until the end of, let's say end of July, 2018 to enter the contest. And we'll do a draw shortly after for that. But otherwise, that's everything I wanted to share with you here in this video. And until the next episode, thanks for watching.